welcome to the reality of um, living in a jeep, sleeping at a rest area, because, well, just because. Also, day two of the GoPro series. still a pretty nice day out. I was going to just go on a hike in this area. It's really pretty out here. They have like uh, that stuff over there and over there. But it says no dogs allowed in that area. So all that we can do is walk in this part, which isn't even like dog safe. They might as well have just made this a playground. Like they could have put up a fence and made this a dog play area, but instead it's just a walking area. The leaking is not getting any better. goes <clears throat> but uh some of the potatoes were undercooked some of them were good but i made it the other day and it was amazing but i messed it up apparently today it's my bad still pretty good though gonna drive to the O'Reilly's to go buy some parts and borrow some tools to see if I can get that seal fixed and Kai just kept crying and screaming so since we didn't get our morning walk in like I wanted to I just took him to the park here about 20 minutes to, about 10 minutes away from the O'Reilly's anyway so just get a quick walk in and then after that we're gonna go to get some parts and see See if we can fix the Jeep. Cross my fingers. There's a snake right there. Kai didn't even see it or care. He walked, I almost stepped on it. He was right there. Now he's there. Let's see if we can scare him. There he goes. Slither away, little snake. Kai doesn't even care. What's in Slither? What's in Slither? So I got the part. Uh, a national oil seal part number 3946 I had to call um, rough country and see like exactly what seal that was and apparently they, they use this for all of their seals so got it it's about 20 bucks I think this will fix most of our problems assuming there's not anything worse if nothing else this will definitely help I think what happened is just somehow the seal busted but the issue is trying to figure out exactly why that happened so we can try preventing it from happening. But for now, replace this seal, see if it fix our problem. And if it doesn't, I've had a couple people, um, there's a couple places I think you can go in Salt Lake City. Jeff told me he has a buddy up there and I don't know if it's the same guy, but somebody on my channel actually reached out and said that I can use his shop if I need to. So we can see 
Hopefully I don't have to do anything that requires taking apart the whole transfer case, but if it does, oh. But um, if that's what ends up happening, just kind of got to do what you got to do. Let's see if this works. is off and this is cool it's not it's not shaking around that that's a good sign I, I was afraid it was gonna be all wobbly or something I went I went to take off the yoke and it is loose loose I'm starting to question no wonder it's so loose like look how far it's sticking out too and it's just I could probably take that off with my hand What are you doing in my coffee cup? So, I am now at the coffee shop in Moab. It's pretty much the only one open actually now that I think about it. Or at least the only one where I can actually sit down and charge my computer and edit videos. Um, I think I might have actually fixed the issue. I think that having that yoke that loose, it wasn't jiggling up and down, but you could kind of just slide it in and out. So I think that it was just kind of sliding around and spitting out oil and stuff. I got a torque wrench. I torqued it to spec. I don't think it's ever actually been torqued to spec. 150 pound foot of torque. So I think it probably solved the issue. If it didn't though, I still have the seal. I didn't want to put it on because I'd rather just torque it down and see if that fixes the problem. The seal on it actually looks fine. And if the seal is fine, then I don't want to have to go through the trouble. But I have the parts in case I still need to do it. If I don't, I'm gonna take it back, save the $20, because I'm really low on funds right now, and I'm probably gonna have to find a job. I signed up for a Facebook group to see if I can try to get an odd job, because if I don't do that, then I'm going to have to try to put Kai in doggy daycare, and then maybe work for a month. So I'm thinking, worst case scenario, I'm going to get a doggy daycare for Kai, work here for a month until my camera's fixed, Go pick up my camera and then continue from there, you know, get a little bit more saving and stuff. Make sure the Jeep is fixed until I can get off somewhere else. My goal with this channel is to eventually make enough money for like food and um, gas and just go off of that. But until I get enough supporters, this is kind of what I'm stuck with. Either way, I think that's pretty much all for today. The sun goes down in about 30 minutes to an hour from now. It's tucked behind the tucked behind the clouds and stuff and it looks amazing but um also it makes it harder to cook i'm probably gonna have sausages sean got me hooked on these like spicy italian sausages it was like 12 for five dollars i already ate like six of them they're amazing and i don't even like mustard but for some reason it tastes really good with mustard if you would like to help support me, I actually have a Patreon link down below. The way that works is I have you can spend about $3 a month, only $3, and that supports me big time. On top of that, anytime I like do anything random, I post random stuff on Patreon from time to time, stuff that you're not going to see in the vlogs. So if you'd like to get exclusive content for only $3 a month, Patreon link is down below and it really helps support me, really means a lot. And then even if you can't do that, that's fine. I also have a GoFundMe if you want to do that, but even if that doesn't work for you, just telling your friends about my channel, sharing it on social media, or doing whatever really helps me as well. I get pennies for every time you guys watch an ad, and even though it's not a lot, it adds up. I actually have made a little bit of money off of you guys just watching my channel. So just watching my YouTube videos really does mean a lot, and just reaching out to me, all those little things. If nothing else, it's a cool encouragement. So I think that'll be all for today. Sorry that the audio is really sucky in this video. I just finished editing it, except for this part I'm gonna put in. And um, I'm starting to realize that I have a love-hate relationship with the GoPro. Exactly as I thought, the audio is awful and the quality isn't that bad. It's definitely not my DSLR, but um, I mean, you can do some cool stuff with the GoPro. <laughs> so this is day two of the GoPro series, checking out, and I will see you tomorrow. Mm -hmm.